welcome. How's it going, Bloomer Deals channel? Um, today we're gonna do a reveal of cards I got from Facebook Marketplace. These are vintage cards. I'm talking about cards from the 70s, 80s, even some 60s in there. Um, so I'm really excited here. Got this package. Hopefully they're in good condition. These are really old cards. Uh, but some of the old school players of the game, some of the OGs of the game in here, I'm excited to share a little bit about NBA history with you guys. I know some of these players pretty well. So um, let's dive into it and, and see what cards I got. I sort of forgot. So here's the package. Just going to cut it on up at the top here. You guys can see my fingers. I uh, was working on my bicycle yesterday, changing my inner tube and really uh, messed them up. So you're going to have to deal with that in today's videos. I might be a little uh, not as nimble today, but um, hopefully we'll be okay. All right. Just going to cut this up here, make it easier. I need to get these cards out. There we go. All right, card number one, Robert Parrish. You guys know I'm a Celtics fan, so this is Robert Parrish on the Warriors. Robert Parrish was actually drafted to the Warriors before uh, going to the Celtics where he won three NBA championships, 81, 84, 85, I believe, alongside Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and the Legends. These guys... Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, what to do? Robert Parrish was obviously a huge part of that team. I think he's ninth all time in the NBA in total rebounds. So he, he's a great player. He was a great defensive player as well. He actually ended up winning a fourth championship with the Bulls later on in his career. But uh, a really good player. And let's check out this card. I mean, I'm going to put the other cards to the side real quick. But the centering is pretty good. A little bit more space on the left than you have on the right. Well, the bottom of the card is a little scruffed up. You can see you know, this is in a top loader and a penny sleeve. So I can't really tell. But this is a 1977 card. So this is an old school card. And it has lasted the test of time. All right, next card up is uh, my man Walt Frazier. You guys might know him as Clyde, nicknamed Clyde Frazier, or also known as Mr. Cool. Uh, he played on the Knicks for quite a few years, well, many years, ended up winning two championships with them. So a great player in the league, definitely on the top 75. Um, this looks like this might have a sort of crease through the middle there, um, but otherwise... Look at this, seven-time NBA All-Star to this point, averaging more than 20 points per game most of his career. Great player there. Next player, Dan Isel. Isel? Isel? Isel. I don't know. I do know, fun trivia, he has, I think, this stands the test of time as well, averages the most points per game in Kentucky Wildcat history. So more, more than any of your boys that have come out of Kentucky, Dan Isel has averaged, I think he was at 25, 26 points per game at Kentucky. Ended up playing in the ABA for a while for the Kentucky team and then uh, joined the Nuggets. But uh, Dan Isel, center for the Denver Nuggets. Next, I got two players that I really don't know, so I'm just going to fly through them here. Bob Dandridge. It's a nice card, though. Washington Bullets. And... Artis Gilmore, Chicago Bulls. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he's freaking massive. This says, the tallest player in Bulls history, at least when this car was made in 1977. Five-time All-Pro with the Kentucky Col Colonels, Colonels, and was ABA Rookie of the Year and MVP. So there we go. An ABA stud ended up going to the Chicago Bulls. Next up on the list, Clyde the Glide Drexler. He was nicknamed the Glide because he would glide through the lane and have finished with these really beautiful layups. You guys know him. He played for the Blazers for a while. Ended up teaming up with Akeem Elijah Wan towards the end of his career. 
was thought to be the young shooting guard of the league in the early 80s, be the next sort of up-and-coming young player until MJ sort of stole it right from him. So Clyde couldn't live up to the hype with MJ coming in after him, but a great player nonetheless. Next up, the Knickerbockers. The Knickerbockers. I really wish people still called them the Knickerbockers. Patrick Ewing, the Hoya Destroyer. Um, this guy's a Georgetown alum, just like myself, so I uh, love him a lot. He won an NCAA title with Georgetown. Now is the coach of Georgetown and not doing so hot, so we're not going to talk about that. But um, never ended up winning a ring with the Knicks, but um, played many great years with them. Ran into some tough teams like MJ's Bulls and things, but a great player and a Georgetown alum, so got to give the Hoya some love. Going up next, Bob McAdoo, a wonderful player, also played on the Knicks, ended up teaming up with Magic and Kareem, winning two finals with the Lakers late in his career. But Bob McAdoo ended up, I think, averaging like 34 points per game one year, and I think in his second year in the league. So this guy uh, was a bona fide star, a bucket getter, um, great player, Bob McAdoo. Let's see what we got now. Another Dan Isel, Dan Isel. When he was on the Colonels? Colonels? I, I, I'm i guessing Colonels. Um, this is a nice card. You got that shadow in the background there. Set ABA mark for most points scored in a season. So I'm telling you guys, he was averaging 30 points per game in the ABA, but before that was averaging a ton of points in Kentucky, like I said before. So this is a great player right there. Next up, you guys know this player for... Something that often diminishes his value uh, when thinking historically. But Rick Barry, uh, known for the underhand free throw. Uh, but this guy was a many-time All-Star and uh, All-Pro in the NBA. Scored a ton of points while in the NBA. Uh, but again, it's sort of just known for that little free throw thing he did. You can't blame the people. Gotta love that. Next up, Magic Johnson. A Fleer card from, what is this, 1988? At this point, he had won a few finals, so Magic Johnson. Look at those short shorts. Ooh, players could not do that today. Actually, you know what? It's probably going to come back soon in the next few years. But um, when I was in high school, man, I was wearing shorts that went below my knees. And so these are some short shorts, I'm telling you. Uh, so Magic Johnson, this is a really nice card. I like the sort of yellow on top, purple on bottom. So Magic uh, coming in here. Next up, we got Pistol Pete. Pete Maravich. He's, he was on the Jazz, but on the New Orleans Jazz, which makes a lot more sense than the Utah Jazz. Obviously, New Orleans known for their music. They used to be called the Jazz. That was the team there. So Pete Maravich, known as Pistol Pete. Because uh, he would shoot it sort of from the side of his head. It looked like someone that was holding a pistol. So um, his nickname was Pistol Pete. I actually have a second Pistol Pete card right here. So I got two of them. A first team all-star card. And then uh, just a, it seemed like a base card. So I'm pumped about that. Pistol Pete. Another player that I got two cards for here. Hondo, John Havlicek, so you guys know I'm in Boston, he won eight NBA Finals alongside Bill Russell, wasn't there for all 11 like Bill, but uh, he was a great scorer, amazing defensive player, and um, one of the better players on those teams alongside Bill Russell, so Hondo was his nickname, John Havlicek. A few guys here I don't know much about, um, Austin Carr. For the Cavaliers, Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, another Bob McAdoo. We, we know him. We saw him earlier. A great scorer for the Knicks and then the Lakers in his career, like we said. Daryl Dawkins, which um, I honestly don't know much about. Definitely heard the name a ton. So you guys fill in the blanks for me here in the comments. Next up, we got Earl Monroe. Known as the Black Jesus back in the day. Earl Monroe, man. He ended up winning a finals with the Knicks. I think that was 1973. Gosh, what a great player. I like this card too. It's a little off-centered. You can see there's more space on the right. But 
but a, but a great player back in the day. Dr. J, the doctor, Julia Serving. You guys know him, the famous up and under dunk. He would, he would really fly through the air. It doesn't often get enough credit, sort of historically. He played in the NBA for, ABA for a while, excuse me. I think he won some finals and maybe an MVP in the ABA. Actually, part of the reason the NBA and ABA merged is to get Dr. J to play in the NBA. And so he was a big, big reason the NBA wanted to merge with the ABA. So Dr. J, man, he, he played against the Celtics in those 80s battles back when, when Larry Bird was younger. Um, but an amazing player there. Next up, we got George Gervin. George Iceman Gervin. Um, so he played in the league for a long time. Uh, won an MVP. I think won some scoring titles. He was a great player in the NBA for, for a long time there. Next up, we have two players I don't know too well. Um, Gail Goodrich of the Jazz. Uh... I'm pretty sure this looks exactly like Pete Maravich. Two little white guys for the Jazz with that same sort of a bull cut looking thing. Um, I'm telling you, if we go back in time here. Looks uh, pretty similar to me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, but um, Gail Goodrich, let's see. I think he played for the Lakers for quite a few years. Yeah, and... Um, Ended up scoring 53 points for the Lakers one time, so that's pretty good. Another guy I don't know very well, Elmore Smith, Cleveland Cavaliers. I do like those Cavaliers jerseys. Uh, when LeBron would play with those jerseys, ooh, that looked good. The little red and white on the, on the sleeves and all. He holds the league record at this time, this was in 1977, for rejections of blocks in a game with 17! 17 blocks in the game? Oh my gosh, that's that's ridiculous. Boom, boom, swat, 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 17. Oh, wow. Hey, Bill Walton's coming up next here. He, uh, second team all-star card. This is a nice card. Definitely off-center here. You see much more space on the left. Bill Walton, sixth man of the year for the Celtics. Ended up winning a championship with the Celtics later in his career, but... This is another one of those guys, you don't know what his career would have been like if he didn't have injuries. Um, I think he had bone spurs or um, stress fractures in his legs. So Bill Wallen, again, I like him because he uh, won that chip with the Celtics, so I'll take that. Another Walt Frazier here, and go alongside this, a Walt Frazier team leaders with the New York Knicks. That's nice. I like that a lot. Team leaders. Wow, I wish they did more of this. That would be really nice. Bill Bradley, I don't know. John G Gianelli, I have no clue who these people are. Walt Frazier, of course. And New York Knicks. Uh, ooh, look at that little beard he's got going with the space there. Ooh, that's nice. I wish I could grow that. Ooh. And last but not least, another Robert Parrish for the Warriors. So we start and finish with my boy, Robert Parrish. Two's better than one, huh? Can send the better one for grading. So I talked to you guys about Robert Parrish already, but, but let's run through some of these. So we got Robert Parrish, Walt Frazier, Dan Isel, Bob Dandridge, Artis Gilmore, Clyde Drexler, Patrick Ewing, Bob McAdoo, another Dan Isel. We saw the Rick Barry. We saw the PD, Pistol Pete, the Magic Johnson, another Pistol Pete. The two Hondo cards, Austin Carr, Bob McAdoo, Daryl Dawkins, Earl Monroe, Dr. J, Julia Serving, George Gervin, the Iceman, Gail Goodrich, Elmore Smith, who I'm not sure, Bill Walton there, Walt Frazier, and the team leaders, New York Knicks. So I'm pumped about these cards, guys. Got a ton of these old ones. Definitely going to have to look through them. And see which ones are good quality, which ones are not as good quality. Uh, maybe send some for grading because these old cards, these vintage cards are really nice. Um, can be worth a lot. Got some great cards, guys. So so happy you guys um, tuned in to check out this uh, deal of vintage cards. So um, see you guys next time. Bloomer Deals over and out.